<coughs> Another control match. Control matches are crazy. So I like the hand. I have natural lock. I have thought seize for early hand disruption. Needle will help me. I can needle whatever I see with the thought seize and spell on to kill off any early creatures that might kill me. Um, I thought seize. Let me show you. All right. So mm, nope. It looks like it won't let me show. Oh wait, there it goes. So I see Delta, Plains, Strand, Delta, Delver, and Snapcaster. And I take the Snapcaster, because I can kill the Delver now, and then uh, with my nat turn 2 combo I can keep my opponent off of any other threats. So turn 2, lock. Uh, yeah, I go ahead and play the Bell first instead of the Shredder, because I don't really need the spell skite. Once he flips that Delver, spell skite's not going to do squat. So, <clears throat> and uh, but not sees it away again. Grab that gifts. So I'm getting low on life here, but I'll be okay. I just have to play super tight. To really know what are threats and what are not. Take out really the last. Remaining threat. That is a charm. I can take out Cryptic. Keep up mana for Spell Bomb. And that's going to be game. I mean, I just kill off the uh, insect. Untap. I don't want my opponent to have guys thinking that they're good doesn't do squat for me, so. Not right now. I mean, I'll put the clock, but right now I, I really need bridge or some uh, more lock pieces to secure the lock. I don't play needle quite yet because I don't have to. Uh, I don't know why I played that Inquisition. But I go ahead and. Now I play needle on the strand to make the. Uh, that dead draw. It gives me an extra turn. I don't pull the uh, stirrings yet because I have stirrings on top. Grab the bridge. And the lock's just getting more and more secure. I see the Iona, so that now, you know, it's red, white, blue control with Iona finish, it looks like. The Umbreal lights give some burial. So, he names black with that instead of green. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It does stop me from <coughs> playing, uh, Surgical here in a bit, but so there's bridge, and now I can just let him draw dead cards and uh, mill as I wish at the end of his or her turn. I don't build because I wanted that second bridge just in case. Don't want my opponent to have burn. There's that surgical on top. I do not want to draw that. I almost missed that. And uh, now it's just time to play out my hand. Yeah, the opponent's trying to keep me from milling away all of his burn, but yeah, it's it's gonna be rough for the, for the opponent, and he uh, concedes. Now, the, the hardest part, I think, about playing against control decks is they have such, like, especially like three-color control, they have so many threats that I have to worry about. I have to worry about engineered explosives, uh, stony silence if they're playing white, uh, you know, all sorts of weird stuff. You know, if they're playing red, I have to worry about lots of artifact disruption. Uh, yeah, this is going to be super tight, and I know it. I'll go ahead and play this books uh, that on explosives now because I have so many cards that I need to drop from my hand quick, and I don't want to lay them all out and then lose two explosives. So I preemptively cut off explosives. Now I probably 
played surgical wrong here. Opponent's keeping four cards in hand and keeping mana untapped. So, and I need both grid and bridge to lay out. Gotta get rid of the Is it Charm and the guys. Snapcaster's not gonna be doing a whole lot. Delver's not doing a whole lot. So, now I have to kind of force my opponent's hand. I figure of the two, Ether Grid is the one that I can spare the most. But seeing as how my opponent remanded it, that let me know that chances are he does not have a hard counter. So I'm going to try for Grid again, and now I can kill off his dudes. comes damage and now the opponent I forgot about that snapcaster and the opponent has a lightning helix so I'm about to die so close so close and game three um yeah I mean I have the ruins and glimmer void and sunbeam I'm about to gain a ton of life so, and I have a bridge to help me out. So, go ahead and land cage now. Time to start picking apart the opponent's hand. I grabbed the bolt because the snapcaster is not going to be doing a whole lot here in a bit. It's already not snapping anything back. The opponent's smart in not flipping the delver if there was a chance that he could have. So bridge lands, that tells me my opponent has not drawn any counters yet. He's just trying to put as much pressure on as fast as possible. So it's very smart actually. I was hoping for uh, a mill rock there, but it didn't happen. So I grabbed the ghost quarter instead. kind of stuck where I can't play both the cards in my hand, so I'll play the second bridge first, just in case. And here comes a really difficult decision. Uh, I have a choice between Lava Mancer, Silent, Stony Silence, Cryptic, or Ghost Quarter. Ghost Quarter is going to destroy my ruins. But... So I try to force my opponent's hand here. I thought sees force my opponent to tap out with Cryptic. So that means I can Ghost Quarter his Ghost Quarter and not worry about my ruins getting destroyed. So I'm good to go. Uh, the opponent can deal some damage to me, but it's not enough to uh, kill me. It's not fast. So I made the exact right choices. If I had made anything different, I think I would have lost. And I still have a little bit of uh, life left. Unfortunately, I did have to let my opponent draw is at charms. I tap my mana correctly so that I can use Sunbeam to stay alive. So now I'm starting to stabilize. And uh, I draw that fourth land instead of self milling or anything so that I can start recurring spell bomb. It's going to be slow going because I only have one glimmer void and I need white and blue to make that happen. But... So, yeah, this was a risk. My opponent 
the fed, tried to fetch and then draw when I couldn't control the draw. Both of our times are going down. I let the opponent draw that helix and that self mill. And there's an old bull, so now I can recur and pop small bomb over and over and over. And I'll be okay. I uh, go ahead and gain the life with that on the stack because I didn't want my opponent to try to pull any tricks. Pyroclasm. Let's wipe some boards. And that almost seals the deal right there. I'm gonna. I can shut. I have that extra lantern, so I can shuffle away that uh, bolt. Give him a Delver instead. <laughs> and uh, we're good. I'm just uh, gain a little bit of life. Give myself a little bit of a buffer. Well, I could recur Spell Bomb over and over, but I want to draw deeper into the deck to secure the lock. And the opponent doesn't have live cards on top anyways. So it's better that I start digging into my own deck. Uh, you know, Again, we're on time here, so I need to hurry it up a little bit. I mean, it's, I pretty much won, but it's not over yet. Yeah, I let my opponent draw that stone of silence, because I had seal out already. And the opponent knows that the game's over now. Um, I mean, he's r running out of options. I'm getting better and better, and my opponent only has 17 cards left in deck. Uh, we know one of them is the Serum Vision, so really 16 cards, and if he plays any more card draw, it's just going to speed up my clock, and so the opponent concedes.